So, I just got my new little tiny uh, point, what is it, 6.3 housing installed, and unfortunately, it's a, a little narrower than the uh, 0.83 with the adapter that I put on, or the uh, other, the, the banks that came out of here. So unfortunately, this doesn't actually bolt up. It's like an inch away minimum. So I'm gonna have to come up with an, a spacer to go in there. Um, as you can see, you can see how the, the edge of the T3 flange is just beyond the outside edge of the housing there. On the sidewinder here, you can see it's like quarter, half an inch beyond. And on my other housing here, you can see it's also like a quarter of an inch beyond. So, no downpipe at this point. So I'm just going to uh, do a quick test fire and see how this thing even does. I have no clue. Now the engine is slightly warm at this point. You know, it's probably 120 degrees. I uh, gave it a quick little warm up before I went to uh, actually take this thing apart. I've just kind of patched it back together because I want to see what happens. So you can see I put up a really nice little light here. Um, I that was actually a stroke of genius. Seems to work quite nicely having a four foot LED fluorescent or well tube type. 40 bucks at Home Depot. I love it. So anyway, let's see what happens. Well, would see what happens. All right, so neutral, switch on, turn the, let's see what happens. Now that's a nice turbo whistle right there. So I'm just at an idle. Let's see if we can see it in there, the boost gauge. It's slightly below zero. Get this camera to adjust. zero unfortunately but it sure sounds I'm gonna have to get some fuel to this thing to see how it does I'm a little concerned about what I'm gonna do about that uh, exhaust the downpipe but I gotta do something before I take it on the road so I have patched in an adapter and it seems to clear the adapter is the uh, plate off of my other housing there, it's that adapter plate, which I then just put three bolts in with big washers that go around the side of the other one. Will it seal? No. Will it get most of the exhaust into the pipe? I think so. Now, of course, it, you know, I don't have anything actually behind the downpipe, I just took everything off. So, no muffler, no exhaust. Um, this is gonna be the first unedited test of my new turbo housing. Let's see what happens. I'm really curious. So, here we go. Neutral switch on. Still a little cold, need a little glow plugs I guess. Oh, listen to that whistle. Okay, I'm, so I'm going to put this up in the uh, steering thing here. Alright. Here we go.
time I just blew my turbo. So, that's the end of that test run. Time to uh, tighten up the uh, turbo boot there. And then go for test run number two. And everything's fine, it's just that I forgot to tighten this boot up right here. So for that I need a, uh, what is that, 10 millimeter? 10 millimeter socket. And I, just for this test, I put all my tools aside because I had everything on a plate that was in the way. So 10 millimeter, it's going to be down here in my little red bag. Should be right on top. Ha! Ah, 10 millimeter deep socket. Oh, and I'll probably want the extension. And a nice little 3 8 square drive adapter so that I can just use my little impact. Okay, so grab the impact. Drop it in here. Tighten her up. So we're going to have to wiggle that. Loosen it up, I guess. Wiggle it up there until it finally gets in place. Come on. Right, there we go. Okay. That should stay. Just leave that out because it'll probably fail again. Test two. Seatbelt on. Safety first, of course. And I'll put this back up here in my uh, visor, I guess it is. Listen to that thing whistle. An idle. Sounds like a six liter.
just got a uh, standard clamp with, you know, the screwdriver. Unfortunately, I don't have a screwdriver with me because, of course, I left all my tools there, so. Anyway, there's test one and two. Pretty cool. So far, I mean, I noticed before I was getting quite a bit of smoke and maybe 10 PSI max. Now I'm getting up to 20 under full acceleration, which is much better. So, anyway.